In 2023, there are 66 offices open for filing in Kitsap County. Let's take a moment to go over some important information you'll want to know as you prepare to write your statement for the Kitsap County Local Voters Pamphlet. For more detailed information, go to the 2023 Kitsap County Elections Candidate and Measure Guidelines book. It's available online at kitsap.gov elections, and printed copies are available in our office. Filing week is May 15th to May 19th this year. The deadline for statements is May 26th, a week after filing ends. Even if your race is not in the primary, that's the deadline. We encourage you to get started on your statement right away. In the guidelines book, there is information about filing fees, duties and qualifications needed to run for office, which offices are up for election this year and how to file, and the rules you'll follow in writing your candidate statement for the pamphlet. The most common way candidates file is online. That begins at 9 a.m. on Monday of filing week and ends at 4 p.m. on filing week Friday. The link will be on our site at kitsap.gov elections. If you file with us in person, by fax or by email, you can file during our regular office hours, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. during filing week. If you mail your filing, we can begin receiving those on May 1st. We are required to return anything that comes in by mail before then. If you file to run for an office, then change your mind and want to withdraw from the race, then you must do so by 4.30 p.m. Monday, May 22nd. That is the Monday after filing week ends. If you don't do it by that deadline, your name will be on the ballot. Even if you tell everyone you withdrew, in nonpartisan races, if there are three candidates on the ballot, there will be a primary, and districts in the election share the cost of the election. If there is a filing fee, it is 1% of the position's annual salary at the time of filing. Contact us if you want to know the exact transaction fee ahead of time. All fees are due when you file. If you would rather not pay a filing fee for a position that requires one, you can collect one valid signature for every whole dollar of the filing fee. Valid means someone who can vote for you. You are not allowed to split your filing between paying or submitting signatures. It's a fee or signatures. Washington state law requires that you live where you serve. Owning property there is not enough. Serve where you sleep. In the primary, candidates are placed on the ballot in order determined by a lot draw we do a few minutes after filing ends on May 19th. The same goes for general election races where there wasn't a primary. If there is a primary, the top two candidates advance and are placed on the ballot in order of finish in the primary. When you turn in your candidate statement, the two things we will immediately check is to make sure you're under the word count and that you didn't write about someone else in your statement. By the way, endorsements are fine in that regard. Those are about you. We do not edit for grammar or punctuation. If you turn in a statement with errors, those errors will be in the voter's pamphlet. It's a good practice to have someone review your statement before you turn it in. Write your statement as if you are certain you will be in the general election. We don't allow changes between the primary and general, so write something that will work in both elections. If you want to submit a video statement, it will live on our YouTube channel and will be available to voters who access their ballots online. As much as you possibly can, make sure your video is the same as your pamphlet statement. If you read your candidate statement word for word, that's perfect. Please refer to the website and the guidebook to get most of your questions answered. But if you still have more questions, email us at auditor at kitsap.gov.